Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we have five EDC knives that you might not have ever heard of. This is the Samior GP035, but there's all different versions of this Samior knife. Different handle materials, different colors, different patterns. So lots of different options with this one. This one is an M390. I'm not, I can't confirm if it's actually M390, but there's all different, they have all different kinds of models and different blade seals at different prices. This one has a titanium frame lock with a titanium mill pocket clip. And it's very affordable if this is M390, but it also comes with a little leather sheath if you wanted to put that in there. I really like how sleek and slim it is. It's almost like having a pen in your pocket, but it is a knife and super duper snappy. Like the action is surprisingly good, like really, really good. This is definitely a contender against the CEO knife and, you know, well-deserved. I personally like these even better than the CEOs. So let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is a Trivisa knife. This is one of the, I'm not sure if it's a new model. I think it's a new model, but it's in 10 CR 15 MOV steel. I personally like that steel. It's a really good steel. Um, it's a little bit better than the 9 CR. <laughs> Anyways, it has stainless steel bolsters, liner lock action, and it is very, very smooth. Fantastic flipping action. I believe it comes in a couple different colors. This one's obviously the blue G10, blue G10 backspacer. Now, I do have one negative on this. Well, I have a couple little negatives, but my main negative is that these edges are sharp. So when you have it in your hand, when you go to flip it like this, right now I can feel that poking my hand. It's easy to avoid. I just tuck it like that, and then it's easy to avoid. But, you know, that's something that you do have to kind of avoid if you don't like to feel that pokiness. I could just knock it down with a piece of sandpaper if I wanted to. Other than that though, very ergonomic, very utilitarian, and like I said, very, very good action. Let's get to the next one. Now the next one is an AM8 knife, or sorry, a Migron knife. I'm sorry, a Migron knife. Migron and AM8 are the same company. This is the Migron Erico. So we have the Migron Erico in M390 steel on this straight back blade, big old bellish straight back. And it, to me personally, it looks like a race car. I think it looks cool, has a really sleek muscle car look to it, or maybe not a muscle car, maybe more like a sports car. Anyways, carbon fiber inlays, titanium milled pocket clip, super snappy action on the flipper tab, even though it is a very minimal flipper tab, it snaps out with authority. Then you have the reverse flick, which is my favorite way to deploy this knife because it works so good. Not only does it have a fuller writing all the way down the blade, but it also has a nice hole. So really, really cool. The one thing is it does not have a sharpening choil um, to, to sharpen. Uh, it doesn't have a sharpening joil. The plunge grind just basically lands right on the edge with no sharpening choil or notch. You could cut your own in if it really bothered you. I like doing the trigger pull right there, uh, but when I sharpen it up, I'll probably, after sharpening it up a couple times, maybe just add a little tiny notch in there. But really, really cool. Very well done. Migron does a really, really good job. My one negative would be the flipper tab is very minimal, very small, and the sharpening choil and plunge grind, you know, I kind of wish there was a little bit better. But I I do understand some people really like knives like this where when you go to cut the cutting material hits the this and then just goes right into the edge so you can do repeat cuts without ever snagging your choil everything just gets kind of drawn into the edge and i understand that so i do understand that there is a place for knives without sharpening choils or you know without sharpening notches let's get to the last two Next is a petrified fish, and it has a beautiful drop point blade in 154 cm, I believe. Yes, 154 cm steel, G10 scales, looks like Morris code on the handle, and it has good access to the lock bar, very, very smooth on the drop, and it is a front flipper deployment. Now, this front flipper is kind of unique. You can go around the front of it, or you can put your finger right on the top of it and just pull down. Both work really good. You can do the reach over, you can do the sideways flick. So it's pretty fidgety um, for a front flipper or it is a fidgety front flipper. Most front flippers should be fidgety, but 
it, it's a decent one. You know, it's not bad. The jimping's really good on it, and it does work. The detent's not too strong. It does have a reversible inset deep carry clip with flat screws. I love to see that. And it's pretty ergonomic and lightweight. This is a cool EDC. So if you're a person that likes front flipping action, this might be up your alley because it's relatively affordable. And, you know, it's a, a you know, just a basic straightforward knife, which is what where it's, why it's going to be good for most people. Now, the last one is... My favorite petrified fish, a B03. Now there is different versions of this, like different color options. This one is the black blade with the gray G10. There, like I said, there is other options as well. Um, this one has a part, man, this carbon fiber inlay is so, you would never expect a carbon fiber inlay to be this good on a budget knife. You can tell they obviously had these materials put together before machining because it's just entirely way too good. You wouldn't even notice that there was inlay work done on this unless if you can see it because you can't feel it. And it is extremely, extremely ergonomic. Um, you can do the choke up, do the trigger pull. It has a nice sharpening toil and plunge grind, a uh, beautiful drop point blade that's coated. D2 steel, um, you know, usually you'd worry about corrosion with that, but this one does have the coating. So very smooth, super snappy action, man. Yeah, this is a good one, guys. This is a really good one. This is one that very much impressed me. The one downside I have to it, even though there's so much good here, is the clip. I wish the clip was a titanium milled pocket clip. It just, it kind of throws it off because this thing looks like a premium knife until you look at the clip and that just kind of gives it away. Lots of milling on the inside, good access to the lock bar, very smooth, very, very smooth on the drop. Like I said, detent is perfect and you know, it's super ergonomic. This is a great pocket knife. So if, if you're wanting a great pocket knife for an affordable price that looks kind of like a premium knife, check this one out because it is really, really good. Anyways, there you guys go. Until next time, peace.